Yes, 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 yes. What's up? What's up, fuckers? Here we are. Are we rolling? Yep. Yeah, here we are, guys. We're in uh, the world's, is it the world's jacktest gym? <laughs> <laughs> We're in the world's jacktest gym. We're in Banus, in Dubai. Um, it's the last full day here, and I thought I would spend it with two of my team. We've just demolishing the shit out of our shoulders. We've got Adam. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? And we've got Tyler. Yeah. It's good. We're going to be uh, filming a bit of a workout today. The boys are taking me through the push workout. Hey, watch that. Top, top, line. Oh, top line. Top line. Yeah, all technical. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've used that phrase. that phrase ever before. But yeah, I've never filmed in Venus. I've only been here a few times. But you know, we've got goals, we've got big dreams, and we want to get massive. So we started off on push, um, a push movement for chest. Good exercise, three sets. I think he did four sets, and now we're doing some side delts. And then some shoulders. Oh, did he tries today? Yeah, yeah tries. Tries. Um, so yeah, Tyler. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, I'm new to this shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a total beginner. Um, yeah, he's a novice now. He's been out the game too long. Yeah. Just, just so you, you know, these guys are part of the crew. You know what I mean? These guys are the big fucking daddies. Where's my t-shirt? It's been years. No, Max gets you, you, you get a full package, Max. You get a full package, your t-shirt, your vest, your joggers, your hoodie. Um, but yeah, these guys are living in Dubai at the moment. How long are you living here for? You've just booked another month, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, been here for two months, just booked another month. Don't want to go home, to be honest, but... No, 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 no. You said don't want to go home. You have no home. Yeah, we've got no <laughs> home. <laughs> homeless. You do what you want, mate. We're, we're hitchhikers. Freelancers. When did you get here? 11th of Feb. 11th of Feb. Yeah. And it's? It's pretty much April, April. now, isn't it? Yeah. So. You enjoyed it? Yeah, mega. Yeah? I'm just dreading the moment when I get home and I want to come back. Mate, you don't need to go home. You just <laughs> move. <laughs> you go home for a well, few I days. I know that's going to happen. We're going to get to May and we're going to go, should we just do another month? And we'll probably fly from here to obviously Club of Santa. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've, got a, um, we've got an event on in Lanzarote. It's uh, Club La Santa. You know what? Before in the past, we've gone away to Ibiza. We've got oh, fucked up on holidays. Oh, that isn't the brand anymore. We've evolved. We're more <laughs> professional. So we're going to pretty much an all inclus in inclusive sports facility for the weekend um, in Lanzarote with the full Physique Academy team. So that's going to be good. Lots of different events. Uh, we'll chill, get some sun. No partying, no partying, no partying. We've given it up, man. Bed by nine o'clock. I'll tuck you in bed. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get set. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Okay, come on. Make Daddy down. Come on. Oh yeah. Let's get that shit on. Set. Oh you. Come on. And again. Come on. Yeah, come on. Three more like that. Come on. One. Two. Oh. Nice. nice. Road to pro, guys. Road to pro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it, man. Don't jinx it. Yeah. Could potentially be on the YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna get called out by Greg Doucette. <laughs> that's it, that's what I, I was watching a video the other day about Sam Sullick and he said uh, when Greg Doucette did a video about him, oh, yeah. that's when he knew he made it. Oh, yeah. So if we, we all just need to roll to Greg Doucette video. That's, that's it. it. That's it. I would love nothing better to get called out by him. It would be hilarious. <laughs> They'd be like, yes, call me out bro. Call me out for something. You know what I mean? Baby don't hurt, bro. Come on. Yep. Let's get it. Three. The boys are putting it in. Three. Practice what we preach. Let's go. And again. And again. And again. And again. Go. Go. But again. Go. Oh. Boys are getting hard ons over here. Building those side delts. It's them tanners. Big 
again. Come on. Three. Come on. Two. Two. Come on. Last one. Last one, Chief. One. Last one. Come on. Okay. Let's talk about goals. Goals. Let's talk about let's talk about these two these these two lads goals. What, what's your goal at the minute, bro? What are you trying to do? Let all the let all the people know. Personal. Career. As in in terms of let's talk about your your training goals. What are you doing now? You're bulking, you're cutting. Um so I've just been doing a uh, I've bulking for about nine months since July when I when, when I did the shoot. Oh yeah. And then I got to a point like around October where I just couldn't put any more food away. I kept trying and trying and trying to put food away. And I just couldn't put it away, so then I felt like my body weren't as responsive. So then, about a week and a half ago, I decided, I decided to pull back, just lower calories, get my body in a good place again, a bit more cardio, work up, work the appetite in, yeah. and then do that for as long as I can, and then decide, right, slowly and steadily build back up. Get myself at a point where I, I kind of want to get to like 86, leaner, something like that, I'd be quite comfortable with. And then, Wherever that takes me, it'd be nice to compete one day. Yeah. Try it out, see what it's like. When are you going to compete? I'd say I'd be comfortable to compete probably next year. Maybe not. Why is that? Because I feel like I've not. Trained long enough? I wouldn't say. I, I'd say I just need a little bit more time to add maturity and to add tissue to places where I want to add tissue to. I'd say I could compete now and I could look, look all right, but I want to compete when I feel like I'm ready. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How many years? You, how many years you've been training to the point where not you're training a high level? I say, where you're on point with your diet, you're on point with your training, you're consistent every single week. Um, I'd, well, I'd say without. I'd say overall, it's about about eight that years is. I've been oh. in the gym training. But I'd say, like, I'd say half of that is where I've really started to take it fully seriously, you know, dialed in and uh, start to notice, like, differences in the physique. But I think it's more so about the fact, like, eating, knowing your body, knowing your digestion as well. Because I used to eat all this shit, do you know what I mean? And but you can get away with eating more shit. Yeah. You... <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll talk about difference. when you used to poach me. Yeah. And I could sink, what? 3,000 calorie pizzas and wake up the next day and shut it. This is it, genetics guys play a huge role. Like, yeah. I used to coach Tyler for two years. Three and a half. Wow, sorry. Three and a half years, so his metabolism is pretty fast. Um, he's talking then about how he's got, he got to a point where he was pushing food so high, it just became, uh, become, becomes uncomfortable, yeah. doesn't it? And you feel like shit, you're sluggish tired and lethargic, you're a bit puffy, a bit watery, so you've got to pull it back and I think people need to realise how long this fucking shit takes. I was looking at pictures of me two years ago and I look like a different person now. The problem is people, they fall off track for six months and they just don't train properly. The diet goes out of sync and then you just lose all those gains and progress. So it's just small little increments week by week, year by year, you're going to see a tremendous amount of progress. So, what about yourself, mate? What, as in physique goals? Yeah. Um, well, right now, I'm in a cut. Um, obviously, I had the surgery in yeah, November. Tell, tell the guys about yeah, your surgery. So, tell them about how, how, how much you used to weigh. Yeah, so I started with George back in July 2020, during the COVID, and I weighed 99 kilos. And as you can see, I'm not the tallest guy, so <laughs> really out of shape, as you know. What did you used to call yourself? A pudding. <laughs> I put in, um, so yeah, 99 kilos, bad shape, hated myself, hated the way I looked, just yeah, in a really bad place physically, mentally, lost 44 kilos in 10 months, um, which was quite drastic, went from one extreme to another, um, and then from there we built up, went to a surplus, which was quite hard because I'd been so uh, ingrained on losing weight, losing weight, and losing weight, and you remember when you put my food up, I was panicking a lot and worried and it took me a long time to start being social and letting myself relax a little bit, but now I'm, I'm a lot better with that. And then 
from then, you know, done a couple of books, a couple of cuts. Um, my sort of long-term goal is to compete. You know, I'm really passionate about bodybuilding. And obviously with the drastic weight loss came a little bit of loose skin. Um, and I thought, you know, for my own confidence and to obviously help my physique, I thought I would not want to get rid of that. So I had that surgically removed, which was, went well. I had a couple of complications after with like a blood clot, but that was all fine. And now I'm sort of at the back end of that. Recovery's gone really well. And yeah, starting to see the benefits of the actual surgery itself. Yeah, man. So people are worried about losing weight because they're going to have excess skin. Like, that's absolutely bullshit. It's just any excuse to fucking not be your best. Do you know what I mean? Like, Adam lost all the weight. He had excess skin. He, he had surgery how many months ago? Uh, it was in November, so what's that, like, five months ago? Yeah. Now he's super happy with the results, yeah. and he can start living a new life. So it's, it's like, I, was, I wasn't too bothered about it. It was just because, obviously, I want to compete, and I knew that that skin would hold me back in that sense. Well, you want to be your best, mate. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Like, it didn't really bother me too much, and you couldn't really see it unless I had my kit off. Do you know what I mean? Because it would just sit under my waistband. Whereas, you know, now, like, there's pretty much, and it's, it's still mad to this day to not feel it and see it, you know? So, yeah, I'm really happy about it done. How many kilos did you lose? What, in the... Is it 44? 44 in 10 months. Yeah. I remember as well, when you were losing weight, you were losing, like, kilos and kilos and kilos oh, yeah. each week. Like, People are like, oh no, I can't, I can't lose less than a pound a week. It's not healthy. No, mate, oh, yeah, you're, you're fat. You need to lose it more. Drops off, mate. It drops Don't off. Eat. That's, that's it, isn't it? Uh, when you're on the board, when you're on board with us, we try and get fast results. Because if he was trying to lose a pound a week, I would probably give up. That would have took two years. Yeah. You'd still be doing it now. Yeah. You'd still be losing. And, and right this now. is it. It's like you've got to remember, as a bigger guy, and obviously we work with some bigger guys and. Me, obviously, formerly being a bigger guy, you, you've got to keep them, you know, ingrained and motivated. Okay. So if they're getting quick results and they're seeing those changes and they're hitting new targets every single week, they're going to become more invested in themselves and the program. Whereas if it's slow and as you as a coach, you're not pushing them and pushing them for more, they're going to disengage because they're the hardest people to work with. You know Just don't I mean? spend too long in a deficit. Get in there. Get it done. Get out. That's it. Focus on your pace. It's, like, it's, 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 you know, it's a short-term sort of struggle. But well, then when you come out of that, and you can be more flexible with food, you can start to eat more, it's just so much better. Rather than dragging that diet phase out, it's just so much better to get in and out. Yeah, Adam's a walking, talking prodigy of how you can go from a pudding to a steak. <laughs> 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 Literally. A <laughs> fucking filling. Right. Like, he's a fucking different guy. Completely different guy. Like, his yeah. mentality, his lifestyle, his physique. It's just even going from a client to a coach, you know, and then a head coach, you know, it's, it's just, I ne would never even thought of it. I, mean, I still remember that consultation call that day when I was at work on my lunch break and we was on the phone. I remember we signed up, we sent me the questionnaire. I was like, fucking hell, this is it. And if people would have asked me then, would you ever see yourself doing that? I'd go, no. I think people, you've got to remember as well, it is intimidating. It's oh, very yeah. intimidating to get on a call with a man and express yeah. your insecurities and how you need help yeah. but you've got to drop your ego and drop your pride because at the end of the day someone's pride and ego will get in the way of them succeeding and you'll just be miserable I see it all the time yeah. you'll be a miserable cunt fat and miserable cunt yeah. sorry like I, I was. I'm not sorry like I was <laughs> <laughs> right we need to train if you're we need to train
Come on. Oh. Yep. Oh yeah. On camera now, mate. Oh. Oh. Yep. Up. Oh. One more me. Come on. Yep. Machine, right? Ah. Funky machine, but it feels good, man.
just having a conversation then about recruiting coaches. The most difficult part of the Physique Academy right now is recruiting good coaches. Um, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. It's like there's, there's coaches and then there's, you know, we have a standard obviously to follow and there's, there's people who do things their way that doesn't quite sit well with us because we, we preach about the best, we want to be the best. The values, isn't it? Yeah, and it's the values, you know, and what they represent as a person. You know, it doesn't always align with what we want out of a person. You know, so, you know, as much as we are evolving and growing, yeah, we just we just want to find the right people to work with, don't we? Yeah. So if you are out there and you're interested, please apply. You have to be qualified. Um, you have to be ready to work fucking hard, especially at the start. Oh, yeah. it's not it's not easy. Getting up to the standard is going to be tough on you, and you're going to be pushed to the limit. But it's a, such a fulfilling job that it's worth the while. Like these guys are living in Dubai. They're going to come to. Bali next month like it's a fucking no-brainer for a coach in the UK or around the world working in a gym being paid hourly this is just a complete new level what you get and you can represent a brand which is at the top so guys if you're interested please apply apply whether it's not now but you get your qualifications and you, you try at least to maybe get into a gym, get some hours underneath your belt, train some clients for free, and then come to us and apply. You never know. But we're looking for experienced people who really want to change lives and who are ready to fucking grind. Grind. <laughs> Live the life you always Get wanted. some fucking results, man. That's it. <laughs> change the world one guy at a time. Yeah. All good. <laughs> Jesus! I'm one set, fucking close, bro. Do the same, man. Let's go. Do the same. Squeeze them, that's it. Let's squeeze them. Get it up, come on. There we go. Yep. 
Go on, show him. Come on. Come on. Show me you are. Go on. And again. Come on, come on. Get it up. Everyone that down with you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Nice. Rest and go again. Rest. Rest past five, yeah? Up. One. Two. Three. Come on. Come on, get oh. up, get up, get up. Nice. Filthy bitch. Finished. Finito, done and dusted. Um, Tyler, Adam. Big one. Yeah, it was, a, it was a long one. I don't think I've been in a, a weight workout like that for a while. <laughs> well, there was three of us. There you but, go. You know what, I feel a lot bigger <laughs> doing a workout like that. It was great. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the workout. We're going to head and get some food, bring you guys with us, chat some shit, enjoy some grub. See you there. <laughs> Why not? Did you see the floods a few weeks ago? You guys all went bust, don't worry, mate. Mate, it was, it was so bad. Because <laughs> we train biceps, mate. Wow, getting filmed. So what, what, what meat is this? Bison. Bison, yeah. No, this is not bison. Mine's oh, not. Angus. Angus. You've got some Angus. Rice, avocado, beans, cheese, peppers. And then we got a salmon burger with avocado. And a little portion of fruit. What did you get, bro? I really do use the fucking 